day grade 11 students, we are now on week number 3 for Practical Research 1. But before we start with our new lessons for this week, let us have first a prayer. In the Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again, good day grade 11 students. We are now on week number 3 for Practical Research 1 and we will begin the process of uh, research writing because you have already identified the research topic that you are going to work on. For this week, we will discuss about uh, the parts of chapter 1 of research. But before that, let us do first a recap of what we have studied in our last lessons. For our last lessons, you have learned about the different kinds of qualitative research and the approaches to qualitative research. And you have learned on how to write or how to select a research topic that is related to daily life. Now, we are going to discuss a new unit for this new quarter, which is all about identifying the inquiry and stating the problem. For this unit, we have three lessons. For lesson number one, we have stating research questions. Lesson number two is all about scope and delimitation. And lesson number three is all about the significance of the study. But before we start with our lesson, pause this video and answer first the pre-assessment on your assessment sheets. Now, after answering the pre-assessment on the assessment sheets, let us begin the lesson number one, which is all about stating research question. For this lesson, we have these objectives. Number one, state research questions and present written statement of the problem. Okay. Uh, when you have already identified the research topic that you will work on, it's now time to find a problem that the study will focus on. Ano nga ba yung gusto ninyong problema na masolusyonan o mabigyang pansin sa inyong study? Okay, so what is a research question? A research question is simply a question related to your chosen topic that needs to be answered in your research process. It is the question where your research revolves. The research question is one of the most important parts of your research project, thesis, or dissertation. It will guide you throughout your writing process. Okay? So let us have here an example. For example, we have the research topic, the use of social media. Now, what are the questions that can be uh, found in this research topic? Or what are the problems that are associated with use of social media? Okay? For example, we have two research questions. Number one is, what effect does social media have on people's mind? And number two, how does frequent use of TikTok application affect the academic performance of junior high school students? So these are examples of research questions that are suited for this research topic. Now, what makes a good research question if you are going to make it? All research questions should be focused, feasible, specific, complex, researchable, and relevant. So let us check from our first example if the two research questions can be said that it uh, encompasses all the uh, research questions characteristics presented here. So again, we have the research topic use of social media and the research questions are what effect does social media have on people's mind and how does frequent use of TikTok affect the academic performance of junior high school students? So again, uh, let us check if uh, 
These research questions are focused, feasible, specific, complex, researchable, and or relevant. Okay, so if you have noticed, both questions are focused on topic social media. So they are both aligned to the topic social media. So it is uh, relevant. Okay, so however, the first question is not specific. Why? Because what social media are you going to consider? Because we have uh, different kinds of uh, social media. It may be to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or etc. And then, the people that, are, uh, that you will study or the people who are going to talk about is not present or is not specific as well. So, this type of research question can be said a good research question. Let's take a look at the second question. The second question, on the other hand, gives a narrow detail of the social media type that will be studied, which is the TikTok. And the people that uh, is too general on the first research question is narrowed down into junior high school students uh, except uh, instead of using the word people. And we also narrow seen here that the minds has been narrowed down into the academic performance. Okay? And also, there is uh, another word, uh, the frequent use. It shows the frequency of usage. So, as you can see here, there, is, uh, there are specific parts or variables present in the second research questions. And this is a good kind of a research question because the problem is completely identified. Okay, so let us have another example. Do private hospitals provide better healthcare system than in public hospitals? And then the second one, how do public and private hospitals in Region 3 compare in health outcomes and patient satisfaction among low-income people with chronic illnesses? Okay, so as you can see, the first question is not researchable because there is no exact criteria what counts as better. Okay, paano mo ba masasabi na better yung private hospitals kaysa sa public hospitals sa ang aspeto? Doon lang ba sa pangalan? Sa presyo? Doon sa binibigay na healthcare? Doon ba sa mga professional na nagkatrabaho sa kanila? So, hindi siya uh, researchable. Hindi alam ng researcher kung saan siya mag-focus. Also, it's not complex enough since it can be easily answered by yes or no. So, di ba parang ang question na yan is not complex enough because uh, it can be answered by yes or no kasi tinatanong nga naman kasi na may better healthcare system. Okay? The second question is much more researchable because it uses specific terms like it compares the hospitals in Region 3 and uh, it analyzes the health outcomes and patient satisfaction. Okay? May dinagdag pa uh, among low-income patients and with chronic illnesses. So there is an in-depth investigation that will be conducted if this research question will be applied. So let's have another example. So please read it carefully and I will let you discover what are the differences between the two. So first one, how did the Philippines gain independence from the Spanish colonizers in the 18th century? And the second one, how does the West Philippine Sea dispute affect the way people view about Philippines' territorial sovereignty? Okay, so what do you think? Uh, which is the more uh, researchable question? Okay, so the first question is too simple that you can simply search it on the internet 
and it, ha it has been already uh, conducted or there has been already a research conducted conducted that can answer this type of question. Kasi nga, nangyari na siya sa past. And ang tinatanong dito is a past event na pwede naman nating mabasa sa internet or sa books, malaman natin yung sagot. Kasi nga, tinatanong, paano nga ba nakalaya ang Pilipinas sa Spanish after 333 years? So, madali lang naman yan. And then, also, it has, yun yan, sabi ko na, it has been already answered so many times And contributing new information is hardly feasible. Well, the second question is more relevant kasi nga ito ay isang example ng historical research. So kung naaalala niyo yung tinuro ko sa inyo last week, pag sinabi nating historical research, hindi lang ito basta nalaman mo yung nangyari sa uh, history or sa past events na nangyari sa ating bansa or sa isang uh, context, but it is more of how... Uh, related does the events from the past to the events happening now? Or what are the implications of the events that happened in the past to the present times? Ayan nga. The second question takes a specific argument and has more relevance to current social concerns and debates. Okay? So, this, uh, so, those were the different things to consider when writing a good research question. Now, how about the steps in formulating research questions? We have four steps. Number one is to choose a topic. So, you have already chosen your topic last week. So, for this step, it will be helpful if you choose a topic you're interested in since you'll be working it for some time. So, nasabi ko na kaya, isa yan sa factor to consider in choosing a topic. It must be in or on your area of interest. Number two, narrow down the topic. So, natutunan nyo din yan last week kung paano mag-narrow uh, from a general to a more specific topic. So, choose a certain aspect. Kukuha ka lang ng isang part dun sa topic na napili mo para ma-i-research mo. And then, ask some questions. Ito na nga, think of some questions you can ask about it. And then, focus the question. Pick one and try to make it more specific and relevant. So, pwede naman kasi magsimula kayo sa isang general na tanong, parang sa mga pinapakita ko ng sample, and then sa kanyo inaro kung ano yung gagawin yung focus or gagawin yung specific part ng inyong research study. Okay, so for example, if your choice of topic is mental health, you can narrow down the topic by simply choosing a certain aspect. So marami namang aspect ang mental health. Pwede yung sa mga diseases on the uh, 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 brain or sa behavior rather, uh, factors that good, contribute to good mental health, cases of depression, anxiety among teenagers. So once you have chosen a certain subtopic, Think of some questions to ask about it. Then choose one and develop it into a strong research question by making sure that it is focused, specific, researchable, complex, and relevant. Okay, so yun na nga. So with that in mind na nakapili ka na ng iyong uh, chosen topic or general topic which is mental health and you have already narrowed it down, So, for example, you chose uh, cases of depression and anxiety among teenagers. So, think of uh, research questions that can be uh, related to that uh, narrowed down topic. So, ayan. Let us use a graphic organizer to see how will you step-by-step uh, -step, uh, formulate a research question. So, again, if you have a chosen research topic is mental health and you have chosen the subtopic depression and anxiety among teenagers which is relevant to you kasi nga kayo ay teenagers and mostly baka nararanasan or may kakilala kayo na nakararanas nito and then what questions can be asked or what problems are present on the depression and anxiety among teenagers so for example How does depression and anxiety affect a teenager's academic performance? Okay, so pwedeng, kasi di ba, nakaka-apekto yung depression and anxiety sa 
uh, performance ng isang bata sa kanyang school. Number two, what effect do social uh, school policies on bullying have on the number of cases of depression among high school students? Sa pag-iisip ng mga questions, pwede kayong mag-isip ng mga factors kung bakit nga nagkakaroon ng depression or kung ano yung effect ng depression. Doon kasi sa question number one, halimbawa ito, how does depression affect the academic performance? So, ang pinigyan ng pansin dito ay yung effects ng depression. Doon naman sa pangalawa, what is the uh, effect on the, of the policies? Ano yung magiging epekto ng policies or magiging uh, uh, sa mga polisiya sa pagpigil or pagdami ba ng depression? O pwede rin naman ang tanong ninyo, what causes uh, anxiety and depression among teenagers? So, pwedeng ganyan yung sa mga questions na general. And then, you will write the focus question. Ang focus question dito, what effect do the Anti-Bullying Act of 2013 have on the number of the cases of depression among high school students of San Lorenzo Ruiz Diocesan Academy? So, tingnan nyo dito. Ano yung mga naging specific dyan? Inispecify yung policy na binanggit dito. Ang policy na yon ay Anti-Bullying Act of 2013. Tapos, high school students lang yung nabanggit dito. Dito binigyan na ex- um, specific population. High school students daw ng SLRDA. So, nagkaroon na ng mas magandang focus at alam ng researcher kung saan siya gagawa, saan siya kilos, and sino yung mga respondents ng kanyang research. So, I will give you a tip. After choosing a topic, do some preliminary reading to find out topical debates or uh, and issues about it. This will also help you to narrow down your topic and help you think of relevant research questions. So, syempre, pwede ka naman ding mag-look sa uh, web para malaman mo kung ano yung mga current issues, yung mga variables nga, malaman mo yung mga causes, effects na pwede mong isama dun sa gagawin mong research question. Okay? So, now if you have already formulated your research question, what do you do with it? Okay? Ano na? Pagkatapos nating malaman yung focus question ng iyong research, your research question will serve as your guide on what resources to find. So, yun na nga. Oh, dung kanina ginawa natin focus question, nalaman mo na high school student ng San Lorenzo Ruiz Diocesan Academy. Uh, nalaman mo na yung policy na yung pag, uh, pag-aaralan ay yung Anti-Bullying Act of 2013. So, maaari ka nang maghanap ng mga guides na pwede mong gamitin through your research such as statistics, interviews, or articles about it. And what information to collect? So, yun nga, galing, dapat uh, tungkol sa uh, kaso ng depression and anxiety among high school students, yun dapat yung information na i-collect mo. So, basically, you can now start researching to find the answer for your research question. Okay? So, that's it for our lesson. Number one, if you want to learn more about this lesson, you can access the link written on your learning packet or open the file along with the video, this video discussion in your flash drive. So it's time for us to check how you understand the lesson. Answer activity 2A on the assessment sheets. That's it for our lesson number one, stating research questions. I hope you learned well in this lesson. And if you still have questions about this topic, you can contact me during our consultation time. I'm once again thankful for these resources for giving me the enough material for discussing this lesson. Once again, I'm Mr. Rolly C. Franco, your teacher in Practical Research 1. Thank you, God bless, and happy learning, Ruizians.